Did you know that some of the simplest daily tasks might be done incorrectly? Today, we're diving into the surprising ways you might be doing everyday things wrong. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to our deep dive into the art of brushing your teeth, a task you've been doing since childhood, but are you doing it correctly? Most of us are guilty of rushing through our morning toothbrushing routine, but did you know dentists recommend brushing for a full two minutes? That's right, two minutes. This duration ensures that you're thoroughly cleaning all areas, the front, back, and chewing surfaces of your teeth. And here's another shocker, brushing right after eating, especially acidic foods like orange juice or coffee, can harm your enamel. Why? Because acidic foods soften the enamel, and brushing too soon can wear it away. The best practice is to wait at least 30 minutes after eating. And let's not forget about technique. Gentle, circular motions are the way to go. Avoid aggressive back-and-forth scrubbing, which can irritate your gums and wear down enamel. Lastly, don't forget to replace your toothbrush every three to four months, or sooner if the bristles are frayed. So next time you're brushing your teeth, remember, two minutes, wait after eating, and gentle circles. Your teeth and your dentist will thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful tips before we look at how you are drinking your water wrongly. Now let's dive into a liquid essential for life, water. But are you hydrating in the best way possible? You might think gulping down a lot of water at once is good, but our bodies beg to differ. Sipping water throughout the day is more effective. Our bodies can only absorb a limited amount at a time. Now what about drinking water with meals? Doing this right before or after eating can actually dilute your digestive juices. This dilution can impact your digestion, making it harder for your body to process nutrients effectively. Aim to hydrate about 30 minutes before meals and wait a bit after eating before you reach for that glass of water. Remember, hydration is more than just drinking water. It's about when and how you drink it. Keep these tips in mind for optimal hydration and health benefits. Up next, we're uncovering the truth about charging your phone. Stay hydrated and stay tuned. In our always connected world, our phones are nearly an extension of ourselves. But are you charging them the right way? It's a common habit to leave your phone plugged in overnight. But did you know this can actually strain the battery over time? Keeping your phone charged to 100% continuously can wear down the battery's capacity, shortening its overall lifespan. On the flip side, letting your battery drain completely before recharging isn't ideal either. Frequent complete discharges can cause your battery to wear out faster. The sweet spot. Try keeping your phone's battery between 20% and 80%. This range is much kinder to your battery's health. So next time you plug in your phone, remember these tips. Proper charging habits can significantly extend the life of your battery. Up next, we'll explore how your sitting posture can affect more than just your back. Stay charged and stay tuned. Now let's adjust our focus to something we do for hours every day. Sitting. But are you sitting the right way? Slouching might feel comfortable, but it's a posture pitfall with serious consequences. Slouching can lead to back pain, one of the most common health complaints, and even reduce your lung capacity. But that's not all. Sitting for long periods without breaks is another silent health hazard. Extended sitting can contribute to issues like heart disease and worsen overall health. So what's the fix? First, aim for an ergonomic sitting position. Feet flat on the floor, lower back supported, and screen at eye level. Take regular breaks. Stand, stretch, or walk every 30 minutes to keep your body active and your mind fresh. Remember, good posture isn't just about looking poised. It's about maintaining your health. Small adjustments can make a big difference. Stay tuned as we uncover the impact of late night screen time on your sleep. Sit up straight and stay with us. As night falls, many of us turn to our electronic devices, but this habit could be sabotaging your sleep. Let's find out how. It all starts with blue light, emitted by screens. This light can trick your brain into thinking it's still daytime. Exposure to blue light before bed suppresses melatonin production, the hormone that regulates sleep. But there's more. 
The type of content you consume can also keep your brain too wired to wind down. Engaging with exciting or stressful content like action-packed shows or work emails can leave your mind buzzing when it's time to sleep. So what can you do? Start by making your bedroom a screen-free zone an hour before bed. Opt for relaxing activities like reading a book, listening to calming music, or meditating. Incorporating these healthier nighttime habits can significantly improve your sleep quality, giving your brain the rest it deserves. And now, we're curious to hear from you. Do you also find yourself using electronics before bed? Have you noticed its impact on your sleep? Drop a comment below and share your experiences or any tips you might have for breaking this habit. Let's help each other get a better night's sleep. And remember to press like if you are guilty of this habit too. Next up, we're shining a light on a daily ritual sunscreen application. Stay tuned for more life-enhancing tips. Sunscreen, our frontline defense against the sun's harmful rays. But are you applying it correctly? Let's uncover some common sunscreen slip-ups. Did you know that most of us don't use enough sunscreen? The amount needed for proper coverage might surprise you. That's right. A shot glass full approximately one ounce is what's needed for effective whole body protection. But applying once isn't enough. Sunscreen needs to be reapplied every two hours, especially if you're outdoors for extended periods. And if you're swimming or sweating, reapply more often. Water and sweat can wash away sunscreen, reducing its effectiveness. Remember, no sunscreen offers complete protection. Seek shade, wear protective clothing, and avoid peak sun hours. Armed with these sunscreen best practices, you're now ready to enjoy the sun safely. Your skin will thank you in the long run. Up next, we're lathering up some truths about washing hair. Stay tuned for more everyday essentials. Hair care is more than just a routine. It's an art. Today, we're untangling the truths behind shampoo and conditioner use. Many of us believe that daily hair washing is the key to cleanliness, but this habit might be doing more harm than good. Washing your hair every day can strip it of its natural oils, leading to dryness and potential damage. Now let's talk conditioner. While it's essential for hair health, where and how you apply it matters. Applying conditioner on the scalp can lead to buildup and even scalp issues. It's best used on the mid-lengths and ends of your hair. This method ensures your ends get the moisture they need without weighing down your roots or causing buildup on the scalp. Remember, hair care is all about balance. Adjust your routine to what your hair truly needs, and you'll see the difference. Next up, we'll dive into the do's and don'ts of dishwasher use. Stay with us for more daily living tips. Dishwashers are the unsung heroes of our kitchens, saving us time and effort. But are we using them to their full potential? Let's dive in. One of the most common mistakes is overloading. It might seem efficient, but it's a shortcut to poorly cleaned dishes. Each dish needs space for water and detergent to circulate. Overloading or improper loading can leave you with less than sparkling results. But there's more to dishwasher maintenance than just loading. The key to its longevity lies beneath, in the filter. Regularly cleaning the dishwasher filter is crucial. A clogged filter can reduce efficiency and even lead to damage over time. Taking the time to clean it every few weeks ensures your dishwasher runs smoothly and your dishes come out spotless. So, next time you load your dishwasher, remember these tips. A well-maintained dishwasher means cleaner dishes and a happier kitchen. Up next, we're peeling back the layers on the best ways to consume fruits and vegetables. Stay tuned for more everyday insights. Fruits and vegetables are pillars of a healthy diet packed with essential nutrients. But are you preparing and eating them in a way that maximizes their benefits? Let's find out. First up, peeling. While it might make some produce more palatable, it can also strip away valuable nutrients and fiber. The skin of many fruits and vegetables is rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. By peeling, you're potentially discarding a nutritious part of your meal. Next, let's talk about cooking. High temperatures and prolonged cooking can break down and leach out vitamins and minerals, diminishing the nutritional value. The solution? Opt for cooking methods like steaming or sautéing for shorter durations. This helps retain more nutrients and keeps the vegetables natural flavors. By being mindful of how you prepare fruits and vegetables, you can enjoy not only their flavors, but also their full health benefits. 
Stay with us as we move on to our next segment, where we'll get moving with some exercise truths. Keep watching for more health and lifestyle tips. Exercise, it's vital for our health and well-being. But like anything, it's all about balance. Let's delve into the common pitfalls of fitness routines. Over-exercising is a trap many fitness enthusiasts fall into. Pushing your body too hard can lead to burnout and even injury. On the flip side, under-exercising won't challenge your body enough to see improvements. It's about finding the right intensity. Variety in your workout regimen is just as important. Repeating the same exercises can lead to muscle imbalances and mental boredom. Cardio and flexibility exercises can prevent imbalances and keep things interesting. Remember, the key to a sustainable fitness routine is balance and variety. Listen to your body and don't be afraid to mix things up. Up next, let's take a deep breath and focus on managing stress effectively. Stay active and stay tuned for more lifestyle insights. Stress, an inevitable part of life, but how we handle it can make all the difference. Today, we're exploring the do's and don'ts of stress management. Many of us turn to passive activities like watching TV or endless internet browsing to unwind. But are these methods truly effective? While they might offer temporary distractions, passive activities often don't address the root of stress. In fact, they can sometimes exacerbate it. Active stress relief methods, on the other hand, engage your mind and body more effectively. Techniques like exercise, meditation, engaging in hobbies, or even simple breathing exercises can be far more beneficial for managing stress. Remember, finding the right stress relief method is a personal journey. Experiment with different techniques to see what works best for you. Next, we're tackling a daily necessity towel usage and hygiene. Stay relaxed and stay tuned for more life-enhancing tips. Towels are everyday companions in hygiene, but there's more to their use than meets the eye. Let's unwrap the proper ways to use and care for your towels. A common oversight is how often we reuse bath towels before washing them. Overuse can turn them into havens for bacteria and mold. The rule of thumb? Wash your bath towels after every three to four use. This helps maintain hygiene and freshness. But what about sharing towels? Even among family, it's a practice best avoided. Sharing towels, especially bath towels, can easily spread germs and skin irritants. Personal towels for personal use is the way to go. And let's not forget about those decorative towels. While they enhance the look of your bathroom, they're often not designed for effective drying. Keep your decorative towels for show, but always have functional, absorbent towels at hand for actual use. By following these simple towel tips, you ensure a hygienic and comfortable experience in your daily routines. Stay with us as we plug into our next topic, the best practices for charging your laptops. Keep drying off and keep watching. In our digital age, laptops are indispensable, but are we charging them in a way that maximizes their lifespan? Let's plug into the world of laptop charging. A common misconception is that leaving your laptop plugged in all the time is harmless. However, this can actually shorten your battery's health over time. Continuously keeping a laptop at full charge can strain the battery, reducing its overall capacity and lifespan. Another aspect to consider is the surface you're using your laptop on. Soft surfaces like beds or sofas can lead to overheating. Using a laptop on these surfaces can obstruct air vents, causing your laptop to run hotter, which over time can damage internal components. For optimal battery health, try to keep your laptop's charge between 40% and 80%. This range is kinder to the battery and can help extend its life. Remember, good charging habits paired with proper usage can greatly extend the life of your laptop. Next, we turn the page to our next topic, the benefits and best practices of reading books. Stay charged and stay tuned. Immersing in a good book isn't just a pastime, it's a journey. But did you know there's a right and wrong way to read? Let's turn the pages on this topic. A common myth is that reading in poor light damages your eyesight. While it doesn't cause lasting harm, it can lead to eye strain and fatigue. Good lighting is key to a comfortable reading experience, reducing strain and allowing longer, more enjoyable sessions. Another aspect often overlooked is the art of skimming. While it's a handy skill, skimming can hinder deep comprehension and retention of information. For a richer experience and better grasp of the material, try slow, focused reading. 
It can enhance your understanding and enjoyment. And don't forget about posture. Sitting comfortably with good support can prevent back and neck pain, making your reading experience even more enjoyable. Incorporating these simple but effective reading practices can transform your literary journey into an even more rewarding experience. Up next, we'll cool down with some insights into using air conditioning effectively. Stay tuned for more lifestyle enhancements. As temperatures rise, so does our reliance on air conditioning. But are we using it in the most efficient way? Let's chill out and find out. A common error is setting the thermostat too low. It might seem like a quick way to cool down, but it's actually a drain on energy and your wallet. A comfortable, yet energy-efficient setting is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit when you're at home and awake. And what about when you're not home? Cranking the AC all day is unnecessary and costly. Adjust the thermostat or use a programmable one to increase the temperature when you're away and lower it when you return. Maintenance is key too. Not cleaning or servicing your AC can decrease its efficiency and lead to poorer air quality in your home. Regular cleaning and timely servicing ensure your unit runs effectively, providing clean and cool air. By using your air conditioner smartly and keeping it well-maintained, you can stay cool while being kind to the environment and your budget. Next, we're diving into the laundry room to explore some washing wisdom. Stay cool and stay with us. Laundry. It's a chore we all face. But are you spinning your wheels with some common laundry mistakes? Let's clean up our act and find out. One laundry faux pas many of us make is overloading the washing machine. It might seem like a time saver, but it can backfire. Overloading prevents clothes from moving freely, leading to less effective cleaning and increased wear on your machine. Another misstep is washing clothes in excessively hot water. It's not always the best choice. Hot water can cause colors to fade and fabrics to shrink. Unless you're dealing with very dirty or oily stains, warm or cold water is often best. Speaking of temperatures, paying attention to care labels on your clothing can save you from laundry disasters. By avoiding these laundry missteps, you can keep your clothes looking better and lasting longer. It's a win-win for you and your wardrobe. Don't go anywhere. Up next, We'll be cracking the code on perfect breakfast choices. Stay fresh and stay tuned. Breakfast, often hailed as the most important meal of the day. But are we making the right choices to kickstart our mornings? Let's serve up some breakfast truths. Skipping breakfast can set you up for overeating later in the day. It's not just an old wives' tale. A nutritious breakfast fuels your body and mind, helping with concentration and preventing mid-morning hunger pangs. Now, let's talk about what's on your plate. High-sugar breakfasts, they're everywhere, from cereals to pastries. These sugar-laden starters can lead to energy crashes later in the morning. Not the best way to start a productive day. Opt instead for a balance of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. Think whole grains, eggs, yogurt, and fruits. Such meals provide sustained energy keep you fuller for longer, and are kinder to your blood sugar levels. By rethinking your breakfast choices, you can truly make it a meal that sets a positive tone for the rest of your day. Stick around as we delve into the correct posture for computer use. Stay nourished and stay tuned. In an era where many of us spend hours in front of computers, it's critical to talk about posture. Poor posture isn't just uncomfortable. It can have lasting impacts on your health. Let's straighten out the facts. Incorrect sitting posture at a computer can lead to a cascade of problems. Chronic back pain, neck strain, and even headaches. The ideal posture? Feet flat on the floor, back straight and supported, arms at a comfortable angle, and the top of your monitor at eye level. Remember, your eyes should be level with the top third of your monitor. This prevents you from having to tilt your head up or down, reducing neck strain. Taking regular breaks is equally important. Prolonged sitting can lead to stiffness and decreased circulation. Aim for a short break every 30 minutes. Stand up, stretch, or just walk around. These small actions can make a big difference. So next time you sit down at your computer, take a moment to adjust your posture. Your body will thank you in the long run. Coming up, we're tackling a task we all do, grocery shopping. Stay tuned for tips on how to shop smarter and healthier. Grocery shopping. It's more than just a chore, it's a skill. Making smart choices at the supermarket can influence your health, budget, and meal quality. Let's navigate the aisles of grocery shopping wisdom. First up, shopping without a list. 
It might seem freeing, but it often leads to impulse buys, forgotten essentials, and even wasted food. A well-thought-out shopping list based on your meal plans can save time, reduce waste, and keep your budget in check. But what about where you store your groceries? It's not just what you buy, it's also how you store it. Proper storage can extend the life of your produce. Learn which items belong in the fridge, which stay on the counter, and how to keep them fresh. And don't forget to check labels. The nutritional information and ingredient lists are your guides to making healthier choices. With these tips, your grocery shopping can become a streamlined, healthier, and more budget-friendly process. Stick around as we sort out the ins and outs of handling leftovers. Making the most of your meals is up next. Leftovers? They're a part of our daily eating habits, but are you handling them correctly? Missteps here can impact both food quality and your health. Let's uncover the best practices for dealing with leftovers. A golden rule for leftovers, refrigerate them within two hours of cooking. Leaving food out longer can invite bacteria growth, risking foodborne illnesses. Properly storing leftovers is crucial. Shallow containers help cool food quickly and evenly, reducing the risk of bacterial growth. Now, what about reheating? Reheating food multiple times isn't just a culinary no-no. It can be harmful. Every reheating cycle can degrade the food quality and increase the chance of food poisoning. Aim to reheat only what you'll eat. And let's talk variety. Getting creative with leftovers can turn them into an entirely new and enjoyable meal. Handling leftovers with care not only ensures food safety, but also minimizes waste and maximizes your meal's potential. Coming up, we're dialing into our mobile phone habits. Stay tuned to learn how your phone usage might be affecting you more than you realize. Our mobile phones, they're our constant companions, but our attachment to these devices can have unintended consequences. Let's dial into the world of mobile phone habits. Excessive screen time on your phone can lead to digital eye strain. Symptoms include dry eyes, headaches, and blurred vision. But it's not just about physical health. Constant connectivity can impact your mental well-being and sleep quality. Using phones in bed, especially before sleep, disrupts melatonin production, essential for a good night's rest. Another aspect is the content we consume. Endlessly scrolling through social media or news feeds can heighten anxiety and stress. So, what can we do? Firstly, be mindful of your screen time. Regular breaks are essential. Engage in phone-free activities, especially in the hour before bedtime, to improve sleep quality. Balancing our mobile phone use can lead to better physical and mental health and more meaningful connections in the real world. Stay tuned as we heat things up with our next segment on cooking oils, the do's and don'ts for your kitchen's liquid gold. Cooking oils, they're a kitchen staple, but using them correctly is key to both the flavor and healthiness of your meals. Let's sizzle through the facts about cooking oils. A common mistake in the kitchen is using the wrong type of oil for cooking. Different oils have different smoke points, the temperature at which they start to burn and degrade. Using an oil beyond its smoke point can release harmful compounds and ruin the taste of your food. For high heat cooking like frying or searing, use oils with a high smoke point like avocado or canola oil. And here's another tip. Storing oils near heat sources, like your stove, can cause them to degrade faster. Keep your oils in a cool, dark place to maintain their quality and shelf life. By choosing and caring for your cooking oils wisely, you can enhance the flavor and healthiness of your meals. Up next, we'll take a step in the right direction with our segment on walking techniques. Stay tuned for more everyday health tips. Walking. It's the most basic form of exercise, yet so many of us overlook the technique. Today, we're stepping into the world of walking. Are you taking your steps correctly? Improper walking posture can lead to a host of issues, from muscle strain to imbalance. So how should you walk? Keep your head up and your gaze forward. Slumping or looking down can strain your neck and throw off your balance. Engage your core. This doesn't just give you a workout, it stabilizes your entire body, making your walk more efficient. Your feet are your foundation. They should land heel first, then roll forward to push off from your toes. This motion is key for a natural, healthy stride. Now, let's talk about your pace. A brisk walk is excellent for cardiovascular health, but don't sacrifice form for speed. Remember, 
Walking with the right technique can transform this simple activity into a powerful tool for your overall health. Stay with us as we explore the world of snacking. Are your between meal bites helping or hindering your health? Find out next. Snacking. It's a daily ritual for many of us. But are your snacks doing you more harm than good? Let's crunch into the world of snacking habits. Mindless snacking, especially in front of screens, can lead to overeating. It's easy to lose track of how much you're consuming when distracted. The key is mindfulness. Be present and aware of what and how much you're eating. This can help prevent overindulgence. Another point to consider, the quality of your snacks. High sugar, high salt options are everywhere, but their health impacts over time can be significant. Opt for snacks that provide nutritional value. Think fruits, nuts, yogurt, or whole grain options. They not only satisfy hunger, but also offer health benefits. By making mindful and healthy choices in your snacking, you can turn these small meals into opportunities for nourishing your body. Next, we're dusting off some myths and tips about home cleaning. Stay tuned for sparkling insights. Cleaning. It's a task that keeps our homes comfortable and hygienic. But could some of your cleaning habits be less effective than you think? Let's sweep through the do's and don'ts of home cleaning. A common cleaning mistake? Using too much product. It may seem like more cleaner equals more clean, but that's not always the case. Using too much cleaning product can actually leave residue, attracting more dirt and grime. Stick to the recommended amounts for efficient cleaning. Another overlooked aspect is the care of your cleaning tools. Yes, your tools need cleaning too. Regularly washing and replacing cleaning tools like mops, cloths, and sponges is crucial to keep them effective and hygienic. So next time you're on a cleaning spree, remember these tips. A well-maintained home isn't just about the frequency of cleaning, but also about the quality and technique. Today, we uncovered the small daily tasks that we might be doing wrong. From brushing our teeth to using our phones before bed, it's clear that small changes can make a big difference. What everyday task will you be adjusting after watching this video? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content.